Yo, 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 yo. Remember the DJI Osmo Action? The original camera. There we are. That's the box, right? How's that? There you go. And then remember the Osmo Action 4? The 3? <laughs> I apologize, man. I'm excited. And this is the Osmo Action. I don't want to get into great detail of how they box things. So here you are. DJI did a nice job. They basically uh, took their time and they well packaged. Everything comes in a plastic bag, heavy duty, protected. When the first DJI Osmo action camera came out, they didn't have this. The Osmo Action 3 may have wrapping around it and where's the case here's the case this case is fit for and let me see if i can open this bad boy up they basically fold it in like so the box as you can see got box tabs and that was their design They protected it with film, as you can see, still have it. They offered, uh, let's see what they offered in the case. Never even used what's in here. They offered a couple different types of mounts. They offered this type of mount. Versus today's mount. There's a sticker. Look at the difference between those mounts. If you're wondering what sound I'm using, I'm using the Fuel Aim X5. Now, what else did they give you? They gave you one of these mounts. Of course, you get a thumb bolt. Oh, look at that. What's this? This is a spot to hold your battery and SDXE card. How neat is that? Remember the times that they given you a lot? I'm going to put this to the side. There's really no need for me to have that there. So you got all this out of the Osmo Action. They're interchangeable, believe it or not. Now with the Osmo Action 3, let's see what we get. DJI stickers. Man, I got a whole bunch of stickers here. I even saved the sticker on there. It came wrapped up in paper. Of course, you get your cable, USB-C to C. You get your one round mount. You get your ring. I lost my ring. And you get a nice small thumb bolt. And that's what you get. You get a little less, but you get something, right? So I'm going to put all of this back in here. I don't want to lose anything. I like keeping things. Don't you like keeping things in nice order? I sure do. I'm not sure how my sticker went. Put 
put my instruction guide back there. I'll put this, I'll put all this away. So any questions so far? Thank you for stopping by, people. I'll put all this back in, instruction guide, mounts. I don't use mounts. These mounts you can still get, they're still available. Every, everything fits into the case with a purpose. What I've done with this one, I cut the tabs off so I could simply fold it in. That's what I've done there. Now with the Osmo Action 4, that's all you get. You get one of these. I have it on here because that's what I got. I think this went on to my, where is it? This is my three. It goes on, snaps off. You got to fight the magnet if you're weak. Goes on, goes off. Not hard at all. When you have it on the case, you're able to do that. That's magnetic. So there is a magnet on there. This is metal. And the metal is right back there, inside here. But there's no metal here, so when it snaps on, it just snaps open like you know who. That is neat, man. So I don't want to lose this. Now I got two mounts. I'll use this card right here. I'll use the sand disc card. So there you have it. Everything comes wrapped. Oh, man, let me tell you. Nicely wrapped. And it all fits inside this box like, oh man, it's tight as a glove. In here, there's this kit. What are these, you say? What's this? These are washers. Where do washers go? They go here. They make this have less friction. Also locks it into place. Well, what is this little thing here? Nighttime shots. I didn't use mine at nighttime. I had no issue. If this thing is loose and you're in the water, you're going to ingest water. This goes on. It screws on like so. And locks into place. So it prevents reflection from the glass. This glass with the light above reflects into the camera and causes circular prisms, lens flares. So you don't want to see lens flares. You want to see less lens flares. Use this. Now I wish they gave a second one of these. If not, you could go and make a purchase and, oh yeah, what I probably would do is get myself another lens cover, get the glass off, because this is more professional. This is too thin, too narrow, and I feel that's going to get lost, get broken. And I keep everything, like I said, I keep everything. All these bags, people, all these bags, a lot of bags, a lot. Now, you want to see this camera work at nighttime? You want to see how it performs? Well, let me show you. I'm going to show you a video. Look at that video, man. I did that last night. I went out, I compared this with two other cameras. I'm only showing you this camera because if you want to see the other camera, please go check out my other video. In that video, you're going to see a Sony ZV-1 Mark II, which I'm shooting with right now in 720p. You're going to see a DJI Osmo Action 3. 
and you're going to see this, the DJI Osmo Action 4, better in low light. Check out them flying a DRC D23 little drone. Got about eight minutes of fly time. Look how nice and crisp that sky is. Look how nice and colorful that tree is. Remember the times when videos were gray at nighttime, had a lot of grayness? You know what blacktop looks like? That is a brown pole with black rust-oleum and brown barrels, plastic barrels. That's a brown car. That's a bronze car in the background. You can see the light right beside the pole, the house light. Nice, crisp, and clear. You can see the car come down. We should be in wide mode. Auto low light on. As I'm circling around, getting close to the camera, green in the back, blue in the front. Oh, yeah. Did a flip for you coming around the camera. Look at the plane blinking in the background. It kind of like a little speckle. That plane just went by. Now, it's well lit the whole street. That street is well lit, and I'm about up to two hours after the sun came down. Oh, wow, look at that. That is awesome, man. The ZV-1 Mark II HD 720p is my primary camera with the Fuel Lame X5. This is the DJI Osmo Action 4. It should be my test of a review. I'm going to grab a product. I'm going to set my camera up like I did at my desk right here. I'm going to put it on wide so I don't have to do one of these step further back with the ZV-1 Mark II. With the DJI Osmo Action 4 and this one here, these two gave me the distance I needed. And I thought the ZV-1 Mark, the ZV-1F will give me the distance I needed. It was uh, 20 millimeters and this is 18. I needed just another two more millimeters. Those two cameras, oh man. I could be right here like this and it's gonna capture the whole desk like this, like where my camera's at. I'm five feet away from the camera about. I'm only 30 inches from the camera on my other desk. And that is not the reason I bought the OA-4. I bought the OA-4 for one good reason, to help and share and make videos. And maybe you have a problem, a concern, information. Can you shoot me this shot? I'm here to help you out. I hope you enjoy your products no matter what they are. You have any questions, you want me to try to do something for you, I'm here to help you out on the OA4. On that note, I'm Fish, and I catch you on many other videos.